In this video, we're going to take a look at the OD and ID threading cycles available within Kipware T. The first thing that you want to do when you get the threading menu up is to select the type of cycle. Uh, some of the fields are grayed out on the form and they're dependent on the type of cycle that you uh, select in this box. So the first one being a full CAN cycle, uh, this is a one line of code that's going to produce a straight thread. Uh, there's no taper thread uh, commands, it's just a uh, full CAN cycle for a straight thread. In the limited cycle, uh, some of the boxes are become available. One of them is the percentage of cut, the minimum depth of cut, and then the threading G-code. Uh, for instance, on a Fanuc control, uh, this code might be a G92 command. Uh, the minimum depth of cut means that uh, the CAN cycle will cap off uh, when the X dimension reaches uh, a depth of cut of whatever you put into this minimum depth of cut field. So in this case, I put in a tenth, which means uh, when the depth of cut calculated becomes uh, a tenth, it's going to cap off at a tenth, and it won't go uh, any smaller than that. And that's determined by the first field, which is the percentage of cut. So each time the, s the depth of cut is calculated, it's what percentage of the depth of cut that you want it to be. So as the, uh, as the thread gets deeper and deeper, obviously this percentage of cut is going to get smaller and smaller. So if you have a thread, for instance, that's 300 thousandths deep, uh, we're going to start out, maybe if we put 25% in here, uh, we're going to start out at 25% of that 300, and then that depth is going to become maybe 200. So the depth of cut is going to keep getting smaller and smaller, and then, of course, it's going to cap off at the minimum depth of cut. With the limited cycle selected, we can do a single taper thread. So some of the fields will come available in here, and you can decide on the uh, single taper thread. So you can either do a straight thread or a single taper thread. And again, the G92 command, if you're not familiar with the Fanuc control, is uh, this cycle is only going to put out X coordinates. So the first line of code would be the CAN cycle, and then after that it's going to be followed by just X coordinates, which would designate the depth of each cut each time. In the longhand cycle, uh, this would basically be uh, just a GO1 here. The longhand individual lines gives you the ability to do either a straight thread, the single taper, or the double taper thread. And you can see we have a primary angle and a secondary angle. So we can have a thread with two different uh, tapers uh, by using the longhand cycle. Everything becomes available here. You have the, this box becomes available where you can input the primary angle and the length and the secondary angle. And the length of the taper at the exit. So you can see we have a little, little diagram here of C2, which means how much do you want uh, beyond the, th the thread uh, to continue along the secondary taper? We'll just go through some of the fields here, and uh, basically uh, the coordinate of the front, length of the thread, OD of the thread, clearance amount in X, the number of threads per inch, or the metric pitch, the clearance to start threading. So when we give it the front edge of the thread, uh, the C dimension would be how much clearance you want uh, before the uh, before the threading uh, starts to cut onto the part. And this is a good uh, chance to put in, you know, maybe like uh, an inch value would be like a hundred thousandths in order to get the spindle ramped up to speed before the tool actually starts cutting uh, on the thread. Uh, you can select the clearance at the end of the thread, whether it's a straight thread or the double taper thread. Uh, the number of finished passes that you'd like to have. Uh, the depth of the first pass, the angle of the thread, the cutting feed rate, the thread depth, and these are have infinity values because we haven't put anything in here. Uh, if you put in, uh, let's say we put in a number of threads per inch as 12, and the uh, OD of the thread let's put in as an inch, and you can see that uh, we have the cutting feed rate gets calculated automatically, and the thread depth gets calculated automatically based on the formula. So once you input the number of threads per inch or the metric pitch, uh, these two values will automatically get calculated. I can also uh, override those values if you want to go maybe a little bit deeper. And then the infeed angle becomes available so that we can determine what angle we want to infeed the tool. And some of these fields uh, aren't available uh, depending on the cycle that you select in the type of cycle box. And again, in the taper threading, uh, we have the ability to put in uh, those two angles. 
So that's the threading menu in the OD cycle. Now we'll take a look at the ID cycle, but uh, everything in the ID cycle is pretty similar uh, to the OD cycle, just going the other way on the, uh, on the ID. We have the same type of uh, cycle creation options, uh, the same type of taper, and uh, the length of each, uh, all the fields correspond to the threading as I explained in the OD thread.